Good morning. Good morning. Gee, it's great to start your day and your week with coffee with karma today. <clears throat> Good morning. Happy Monday. And today I'm going to ask you, do you think that Ultraman can help you grow your business? Well, in today's episode of Coffee with Karma, I'm going to share with you five ways that this little guy, or actually in his big, big iteration, can help you grow your business with books. Hi, my name is Karma Spence, and I help executive coaches, business leaders, and consultants write, publish, and market their client attracting books so that they can grow their businesses. And tip number one of how a 1960s Japanese sci-fi show can help you grow your business with books is transformation from ordinary to extraordinary. Now, in the story of Ultraman, in the first episode, this guy comes from outer space and fights a big bad monster, a kaiju. And in the process, a man named Hayata dies. And this guy feels really bad about it. And so he melds with Hayata. So now Hayata brings out his uh, beta, beta capsule and can turn into Ultraman whenever Ultraman is needed. That's what I mean by transformation from ordinary to extraordinary. And basically what, what you need to do, your book is your beta capsule that transforms you from ordinary mild-mannered business owner to best-selling author and expert and authority in your field. Ta-da! Your book is your beta capsule. And that is a quotable. <laughs> Tip number two, facing the monsters. Like I said, every time there was a giant kaiju, Hayato would bring out his beta capsule and turn to Ultraman! And you are going to face monsters on your path to becoming an author. You may face them at the beginning, you may face them in the beginning and middle, you may face them at the end, you may face them in all multiple locations, but these are your mind goblins that get into your head and tell you that you can't do this. But you know what? You can. Because like I'm going to be saying in my episode of The Author Switch that airs today at 3 p.m. Central, <clears throat> you are on a hero's journey. And part of the hero's journey is friends and allies. I am your ally. And you have friends, too, who will help you through those rough spots. So you can do it. Tip number three, the power of dual identities. Again, Hayata was Hayata who just happened to be a member of the SSSP, which, uh, what was it? What does SSSP stand for? I wrote it down. Where did I write it down? The Science Special Search Party, sometimes called the Science Patrol. <laughs> what a ridiculous name. Anyway, Hayata is a member of this team, but then he brings out the beta capsule and becomes Ultraman! <laughs> having way too much fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So when you, you <laughs> Ultraman balances his human identity with his superhero persona, well, you will need to balance the role of business owner with being an author, because even though they work together, they do have different sets of responsibilities and you're going to have to balance those things. I will put a, a link in the show notes to, I did an episode that talked about a, an episode of the author switch in which I talked about balancing these dual identities. But basically it just means you're going to need to find time to do your business, put on your business hat and be a business person and put on your author hat and be an author, which means promoting your book and using your book to help your business. Because <laughs> that's why you wrote it, right? That's why you wrote it. So tip number four, <clears throat> strategic use of limited time. Now, you may notice that Ultraman has this little thing on his chest. Well, 
that is his his little warning light that when he's running out of power, this thing goes beep, 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 and he gets weaker and weaker. And if he doesn't turn back into Hayata soon, he'll die. So that's an extreme case of limited time. And he has to use it to fight giant kaiju monsters. You only need to find take your limited time and use it to write and market your book. It's that simple. And I've done um, an entire, I've done entire episodes and I've done shorts all about how to find little moments of time. I will put links to those in the show notes, but basically there's found time where you, in fact, actually, I talked about this on Friday, Mission Impossible. I talked about found time and um, doing things on the fly and also uh, tapping into those those moments you and using technology to help you save time you can use ai to help you with brainstorming you can use a, a a recorder in your phone to record while you're walking doing your exercises in the park or something you know use your limited time the best way you can and i will drop links to all that stuff in the show notes to give you more tips and then five building a team of allies. Ultraman didn't work alone. Neither did Hayata. He belonged to <laughs> he belonged to the science special search party, the SSSP in their orange uniforms. And at first they didn't know Hayata um, turned into Ultraman, but I think in some iterations, eventually they do figure it out, but they're there to support each other and to make sure that the world is safe from kaiju. Well, you are going to have a team of editors and proofreaders, possibly mentors, designers who are supporting you so that the world can have your message, the message you put in your book. And then when people read your book, they transform and have better lives because you got your book out into the world. So there you go. Five tips inspired by Ultraman to help you build your business with books. This is, and oh, and be sure to be here on Wednesday. This, you right now, it's Monday, so you, I'm going live on LinkedIn, but this Coffee with Karma goes, posts on YouTube at 9 a.m. every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you are here at the same bat channel, at the same bat time on Wednesday, I'll be talking about tips inspired by Batman. And th these are creative writing tips inspired by the Cape Crusader. And I will see you on Monday. This is Carver Spence.